Hey guys, just doing a quick little mod today. Um, if I got this uh, Wedgwood stove, Atwood Wedgwood, and it has a manual sparker. You can see it turns and then sparks at each uh, element, like the gas. And what I want to do is uh, swap that sparker out for a push button sparker. So I've grabbed myself this. Uh, so it's called an only fire. I got it off Amazon and has a little battery inside. All you do is push it and she sparks. So I think that'll be a little more convenient. Main reason I want to do it is when I when I got up in the morning and and have a tea and light my kettle, this is quite the sound wakes Anne up, so I think this will be a little uh, less noisy. So let's just pull the, the top off this stove and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, a couple screws, pull the knob off and then the sparker uh, assembly comes off and you can see there's some detachable wires there that lead to each of the, the elements. So all I have to do is mount this new one in there. Right like that. It should slip in there and come out the front. Only thing is this uh, this hole isn't quite big enough, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is pull off this front panel, and I'll remount that hole, resize it so that the the new sparker fits in place there. You can see that whole front plate comes off. There's two screws at the bottom and two screws at the top, and she just pops off. So that'll make it easy for me to work on. We'll ream that out and maybe cover up those screw holes, make it look nice. Luckily I'm staying at my sister's place and my brother-in-law has a crap load of tools in the basement. So hopefully he has a, a drill bit big enough or a reamer to help me out with this, make it look nice. Okay, formulated a plan. So I've just screwed a block of wood on that side there. Got myself a hole saw that does buy it's called bimetal hole saw and put a little mark there and this is going to help me center that and hopefully I'll be able to cut a nice uh, clean hole through there. Let's give her a try. Too bad, that'll work. The knob will cover it up too. So let's just give her a try. Yeah, fits through there perfect. So that's a, uh, see, we got a 7 8 uh, bimetal hole saw there. Worked pretty good. Ready for a test try. Okay, so we put the just takes a double A battery in there. A little uh, cover screws on. Ah, she looks pretty good. Okay, let's give her a try. Gas light. Awesome. Fit in there really nice actually. Um, these wires, they were uh, the pegs on the old one were round, you can see in there, and the new ones are more of a blade one. So I just took a pair of pliers and kind of crimped them, crushed them so they would fit properly. So I could reuse the same wires. Time to make myself a cup of tea after that job well done. So 
Until next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.